Life Play by J. Gabrielle Chapter 5 Crocodile Beach Angela and Joe were watching morning news, munching on can of bacon, cantaloupe, biscuits, and honey, honey with plenty of black coffee. The eyewitness news person was reporting from Daytona Beach. Hey, honey, Angela said. Florida Wildlife is supposed to be sending a drone for the iguanas I collected this morning. Keep an eye out for them, okay? The tigers will roar, won't they? That should alert us, Joe told her. I guess so said Angela. Then she perked up. Look! Look, babe! A crocodile on the beach! Angela was pointing at the television. Sure enough, there were people with poles, boats, ropes, and nets attempting to catch a crocodile in the waves. Evidently, this one had escaped the Brevard Zoo. Sometimes there were alligators at Florida beaches, but a crocodile was big news. That story was followed by one that told how airboat tour guides had purchased some electric airboats from the sheriff's auction. Well, ain't that nothing, said Joe, shaking her head. Babe! Babe, Joe started. I'm getting going to get with Ella and Jean and build Gabby something for her garden. Oh, I've got some biscuits you can take to Gabby. That's perfect timing. What are you all building? I'm not sure. Maybe some planters, I think. Make sure you tell them about the lesbian vacation. You could just call them, you know. I will. It's just that I've got room for eight, and I want to make sure everyone gets a chance to get in on this great deal. Tell me about it again. Angela told Joe how she had arranged to reserve two rooms at the Tropical Manor Resort. She would invite friends to come for a four-day weekend. $400 per person pays for bedrooms with a kitchenette. Why not simply email everyone or do an evite, suggested Joe. I'm going to do all that. The personal touch of you with an in-person delivery makes it special, Angela explained as she ate more cantaloupe. You could ask Alexa to help you. I don't like all that electronic stuff. You know this. Babe, you've got to come into the 21st century. I know it's scary, but I'm here with you. I will not like it here or there. I will not like it anywhere. All right, all right. I get it, Sam, I am. Angela was known for being uncommonly stubborn. Good. Now, don't you have to get going? Taking the hint to get a move on, Joe took the last bite of can of bacon and gulp of coffee. She bent down and received a wet cantaloupe kiss from Angela. As she grabbed her gear from beside the door, Angela said, Don't forget the biscuits for Gabby! Joe dipped into the kitchen and picked up a baked goods bakery box that was marked for Gabby. As Joe loaded her vehicle, she hoped she remembered to turn off the Amazon dot she had secretly bought into the house yesterday. Worrying was not one of, in part of, of Joe's DNA, and she quickly moved on to the next thing. Angela, she called out as she was getting into her little red pickup. I think I see a drone coming. To be continued.